Moreover, we take pride that this is our own history, your own history, your nation's history, made, recorded, presented, and graphically displayed by ourselves, by yourselves, through these structures for prosperity. History will bear truth to this precedent-setting presidential initiative in Africa that will spur a strong legacy for successful retiring presidents to emulate, to record, and preserve the history of nation building for prosperity and for the benefit of today and future generations. We must incorporate revenue generating units to ensure substantial funds are generated to support what donations we may continue to receive. Two, there must be enough facilities to serve the needs of the community and to impact positively on the community. In a way, it must be a community project from the services point of view. Three, it must be active and dynamic, not just cold, static, inactive, but also instructive and inspiring. It must also be a center of knowledge, information, and learning. To a large extent, we have been able to incorporate these three aspects. So, we have a mission to preserve the past, capture the present, inspire the future, sustain our culture, and encourage tourism. This library will definitely be of a huge advantage to a people that is always eager to learn and to advance human development. No doubt this presidential library, modeled after the American presidential library, will be a veritable source of intellectual material for the social, political development of not only Nigeria, but Africa as a whole. Without my own word, our dear state, Ogun State, is proud to host this legacy as a center for social, political, and economic think tank and researches.